I'd like to show you how to do um, a sharpening on an image, but without using something like an unsharp mask or a smart sharpen. We're going to use something called uh, high pass, which is kind of cool. So I've got an image open here, and you guys can do this for most images. It's not going to work perfectly on every image. You'll find that if you use the typical filters up here and sharpen and, you know, smart or unsharp mask, whatever you use typically, or sharpen, I don't know, um, sometimes these can work better. So I just want to show you this method. could be kind of cool. So I'm going to come over to my layer over here. I'll option or alt double click on it to unlock it. And what I'd like to do is make a copy. So easy way to do that is con command J on Mac or control J on Windows. Got myself a copy here. Now we're going to apply a filter to that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to blend it into the layer underneath. Now it sounds like a lot of work, but it gives you a lot of control. It really does. So what I'm going to do is use a smart filter for this. This way I can turn on and off this filter called high pass. So I'll choose Convert for Smart Filters. It's going to turn that layer into a smart object, which is fine. It's totally cool. And I'll come under Filter, come to Other, and you guys will see High Pass. Click on High Pass. Now, it's kind of odd, you guys, but it's actually going to go in and make your picture look dumb. I mean, it's going to, look, it's going to make it look like this, I mean, which is kind of weird. It's almost like an etching. But if you take the radius, there's only one slider in here. If you guys work with the typical uh, sharpening, you're going to find there's like 50 sliders or three sliders if it's Unsharp Mask. And you'll see here that we can control the amount of sharpening. Now, what's really cool about this is this is kind of like, um, it looks kind of like the find edges command, if you guys have ever used that before. But it shows you where it's actually doing the sharpening. And this high pass filter has a ten tendency to be a little bit pickier, meaning going to the edges and making uh, some kind of... Uh, you know, sharpening instead of going into all the content area in the center or, you know, the things that are, you know, to have a tonal range that's a little bit closer. So what I'm going to do is come out here and try something like, you know, seven or something like that. I'll click OK. And what's really cool is it's here now. So we can turn it on, turn it off. We can edit it. But our picture's not quite done. So what we need to do is we need to blend this layer into this one. So if I come to a blending mode here, and you guys can see we'll try like overlay or something like that. That way I can turn it on and off, and you can see the before and after. Now, like I said, if you guys do professional photography, I mean, in a lot of cases, this is probably not going to be the best thing in the world, but for some of us, this does a pretty good job of sharpening. I mean, and what the great thing about this, the, the reason I love this method is because we can then go in and change the opacity. So right here, if you guys see, we've got opacity, and the shortcuts for opacity are just hitting the numbers, like 2 for 20, 4 for 40, 6 for 7, you know, whatever. And if you go too fast, like if you go 5, 6, you'll see it'll change the opacity pretty quickly to 56. So I want 6 for 60%. And the other thing, too, is that, you know, I can go in and edit this. So I go to High Pass here, double-click on it, and, you know, I can change. Do I want less radius, more radius, more or less sharpening? So you've got a lot of choices here, which is really cool. So that's just one method. And I've seen other people that go in here and try different blending modes, you know, try different opacities. If you guys are finding that it's just not doing a good enough job you can actually duplicate this layer, hit Control J or Command J, and you can blend it twice inside. So then we can see, you know, before, before, after, after kind of thing. So you can double it up. And ultimately what I would probably do is, is make it so that these two only affect this layer. So you either select them all and group them, Command J or Control J, or you can come make a clipping group. So if I Option or Alt click between, you can actually make a little clipping group here between them. So... Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you what's called the high-pass filter. It can be pretty cool to be able to sharpen an image sometimes.